Hello everyone, this video is dedicated to students who's gonna sit for the SSLT examination in the Canadian Pre-U course. An important reminder before going to the test, be on time. Bring along your black or blue ink pen and your pencils and your erasers. No cell phones or electronic devices are allowed in the rooms. Now we are here with Mr. Mark, the principal of the Canadian University program. And now we're gonna ask him a few questions on tips on passing all self tests. Uh, so from your point of view, how do you like rate all self and how important is it based on Canada and world? Well, it's a benchmark literacy test, and it was developed in response to the universities really in North America saying that they were concerned that students were didn't have the necessary literacy skills to be successful in the university. So in Ontario, they made passing the OSSLT a graduation requirement to ensure, to ensure that the standards of Ontario graduates would meet the post-secondary school education requirements, or here we call it tertiary. Same thing. So I think it's really important. So how uh, is those of these like main exam in Canada, like in here in Malaysia, we have given the years of the which like covers all the subjects, but those of these based on English. So, uh, is there any like other Well, remember for the OSSD, the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, there's three graduation requirements. So students still have to pass six courses. And in those courses, the literacy skills are required. Uh, numeracy skills have been taken in mathematics, but all courses really require literacy skills. So the OSSLT was to emphasize the importance of literacy skills in all of the subject areas. So it doesn't stand alone. It's just one of the requirements. Okay. Um, how would you like differentiate all SLT uh, for a regular test, for a regular English test? Well, I think it's a, it's um, in many ways it's a more practical application. It's not so much content based; it's skill based. And I think we've demonstrated this year that you can practice, and that once you understand the nature of the questions and what's being asked. Uh, then you're better prepared. And so it's not about literature, it's not about poetry, it's not about some of the usual content in English courses, but it's about communication skills, about reading and writing skills, which are really important in all subject areas, important in all walks of life. So, uh, is taking workshops like English workshops really important for all sorts of tests, or do you prefer like going to the exam? I think the workshops are helpful because students can practice and I, and I think this year that the introduction of Canvas and the fact that students could go online, do a portion of the tests, get their score, do it again, practice, I hope will demonstrate that it, there are skills that improve with practice. So is there anything you want to say to a student who are part of the tests? Well, I think practice makes perfect, and I think that uh, the, the workshops, uh, the opportunity in class, uh, the platforms we use this year, students need to take advantage of those. It's not a cram, it's not a cram situation. It's, a, it's a, I guess, a development of skills throughout the semester, throughout the year. Uh, so guys, here's the it from Mr. Mark, the principal of the program. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Now we're going to uh, ask Mr. Noya about some tips on passing also. So, uh, sir, have you any point of view on also to test and how important is it in Canada compared to each of you? Well, I mean, it's the same, it's the same importance in the sense that, you know, you have to graduate, right? It's the same requirement for students in Ontario. I think the scarier thing and what makes it a little bit more intense here is that you only have one year with us, right? You only have uh, anywhere between a 12 to an 18 month uh, runway to graduate. In Ontario, they've got four years. So if they fail it, they have another year to go and they can take the course and things like that. So you guys are not are under a little bit more pressure, but but the requirement is the same. Uh, okay. uh, have you had any 
experience on teaching students on also. Mm -hmm. So would you recommend the students to attend the workshops and uh, cooperate with the teachers or just go into the exam? No, no, definitely. I mean, the, the, the OSSLT, as I think you know, is very specific, you know, in terms of what it is that they want, you know, how many lines you have, you know, what they want, specific answers for the rubrics. So it's important that you know, and it's, so it's important that you go to the workshops, it's important that you take the mock test seriously, it's important that you go to Student Success to get one-on-one -on -one help uh, with your mock test after it's completed. Those are really, really important. If you just go into the test blind, you're not going to know how to answer the questions, and because it's such an important test, it seems stupid to do so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do you think is the importance of time management during writing an exam like this? Time management is always important, uh, and I think it's something that needs to be worked on. Uh, you have to have a designated amount of time, and you have to, you know, focus it for specific parts, you know, you can say I'm going to spend today on the newspaper, today on the opinion paragraph, today on the summaries. Um, if you're going to be successful and organized and efficient in anything that you do, you have to manage your time well. So how would you differentiate OSSLT test to a regular English test? Well, I think the OSSLT tries to touch on and test you on a different set of skills, let's say from compared to ENG for you, right? ENG for you is not necessarily about do you know how to summarize, you know, do you know what, you know, Jacinta said to Dave in this particular thing. It's more about analyzing literature, right, through lenses. So what you do is actually quite different. So the tests themselves are going to be different. There's actually very few tests when it comes to ENG for you. It's mostly essay writing. So I think that the opinion paragraph in the OSSLT is probably the closest that you're going to get to an ENG for you or an ENG 3 u style test because um, the skills that they're testing you on are actually different. So is there anything you want to say to the students who are about to take the test? Any tips? Any tips? Yeah. Oh. Um, <clears throat> study hard, alright? Take it seriously. You don't, you don't, you don't want to mess this one up. Okay, you got one chance, and then what are you going to do? Spend another 4000 rate, come back for six months, take one course in OLC? No. I get it. It's shitty. It sucks. You don't want to have to do it. I understand that. But you know what? Too bad. You signed up for CPU. you got to get her done. It's one of those graduation requirements. So put your phone down. Don't go play pool. Don't do whatever the hell else you guys do. Spend a little bit more time. Focus. Work hard. Go to the workshops. Go to... All the stuff that we try to do for you, take advantage of it because you know what? There's a lot of places that would do it. So focus, use your time well, and actually care about the test, all right? Because you don't want to mess it up. That's my advice to you. Yeah. Nice. And thank you for your time. Man. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good day. Yeah. Okay. So um, have you taken the OSLC test in CPU? Yeah, I have. How do you feel about it? Um, sorry? How do you, it's a Canadian test, right? So yeah. how do you like think? Is it hard or? Um, when I took the OSSLT, I got like a lot of help from the lecturers, lah. So you know they gave us the format and stuff like that. So it was relatively okay for me. So have you done the actual test or just the mock test? Actual test. Yeah. So in your school days, did have you done like Malaysian government exams? Yeah, I have. Like. Like um, BMR, SPM. Yeah. So yeah. how how do you think it's like different from OSSLT? The English parts. English part. Uh, I think OSLT is, in my opinion, just a bit more direct, I guess. And it kind of opens up on a lot of ideas for me, like, yeah. Okay. So, uh, to pass OSLT, do you think it's just a thing you go and write and you can pass? Or you think it's important to go for the student success? And I think it's definitely very important. Just because, you know, like... Any tips or whatever that they give, you know, any about the format and stuff like that, it really does help you uh, to pass with a higher grade and stuff like that. Okay, so thanks for your time and introduction, your name. Yeah, my name is Daniel Chong and I came to CPU during March 2015. Thanks. Um, I'm, I'm interview continuous and I'm here with... Nari. Nari. Okay, so we're going to talk on tips on passing OSLT. So have you taken OSLT before? Yes. 
the actual one or the mock test? Actual. Okay. Okay. So, um, how do you feel about the exam and essays, and how do you manage your time during the exam? Um, basically, time management is a very important concept in the whole society. Basically, you have to try your level best to do every single question before it's the end of the exam. So, I would suggest uh, doing each question by two to three minutes. Depends on the length of the question. Let's say it's an essay, I wouldn't give more than 15 to 20 minutes. So do you think that students are about to take OSLT, is it better for them to go to workshops and all of the classes teaching OSLT or just go straight to the exam and do it? Workshops or depends on the student if it's if he's at a, if he has a very good background in English then it's an option but if he really needs to pause it he should go to a workshop. Okay. So do you think the OSLT exam is really important for you, for the Malaysian students or is just the requirement you have to do it, and that's why you do it. Um, my own opinion, I would say, is just doing it because it's a mandatory thing. Oh. So, yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, hello, guys. So as you can see, we are outside student success, and I'm gonna ask. Yeah, then. Yeah, I'm gonna ask him about some tips on OSLT. So, have you taken OSLT before? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, how do you feel about OSLT test? It's okay, it's basic English. Basic English. So, in your school days, have you done like any Malaysian exams? Like UPSR, or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of them. So, how do you think the English is different from UPSR, PMR English to OSLT English? It's a bit more tougher. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to do like news reports and all, where oh, yeah. you didn't learning mm. in UPS or in PMR, you know there's no questions about news report and all of that. So do you think the students who are about to take all self tests, should they go for the workshops to help yeah, them the pass it? Yeah, the workshops are very helpful. Uh -huh. Literally, can you free a day? Offer workshops, it's very helpful. Alright, thank you for your time.